to another tutorial of design with pam today i'm going to show you everything i did to achieve that animation or that carousel sliding that you saw so i'm also going to show you how i achieved the branding for the can and i'm also going to show you like almost everything that i did i'm going to show you in just a few minutes so first things first the first thing i created like these three frames here so these three frames are jux desktop frame that i selected from the desktop section here so i selected it from here and i duplicated it into five i've already titled all of it so you have i have my strawberry banana blum orange and watermelon so i'm just going to go ahead and come to my style section here under my library i'm going to go to this is for strawberry so i'm going to select this one so i'm going to detach the style so you can see exactly what i did here so for my effect the radio effect i, I gave it here is this is the settings this is the color and you can just use it in yours so i use the same setting but just change the color for my um, banana this is my banana here i just did the same for all of it so i'm just going to this is bloom this is for this orange i'm just going to fast forward the section here the next thing i'm going to do is to create the tag for the can right so i'm just going to use a rectangle i'm going to click r on my keyboard and i'm going to draw a rectangle so for this rectangle i'm just going to go with a width of 525 and for the height i'm going to leave it at 942 942 so once i have this i'm going to take this and i'm going to select take my color picker and choose this color for strawberry right so once i have this the next thing i'm going to do is this like the base the next thing i'm going to do is to create like a another frame in it that is going to sound serve like a label so i'm just going to title this and say label right so i'm going to hit r on my keyboard and i'm going to draw a small frame a small rectangle so for this one i'm going to give it a width of 522 222 then for the height 225 sorry then for the height i'm going to leave it at zero just leave it that's three 362 All right so once we have this i'm just going to round the corners up to a 200 do the same just the edges here then i am going to duplicate this i'm going to duplicate it by hitting sh um, command d on my keyboard so for this second one on top of it i'm going to give it a um a width of 208 and for the height i'm going to leave it at 300 so i'm just creating like a mini label that says what the brand does so let's just remove the fill color and give it a stroke let's also use strawberry as a stroke here so i'm going to select this one select hold on to shift select this one and make sure they are aligned right so this is good so the next thing i'm going to do is i already created a test here that i'm going to use i'm just bringing it here right clicking and say bring to bring to front all right so since i have this going on here i'm going to just put a mini um strawberry here so I can leave the design files some of this um, resources so you can use it in your design so I'm going to try to reduce this so I'm just click on K on my keyboard and scale it down just a bit just going to scale it down so the next thing I'll make sure I'm just hitting V on my keyboard to go back to the move tool I'm just going to make sure the two selected let's just group it here so select this other one select this one select this one and then group everything that i have going on here so i'm going to select the both of them and make sure they are aligned um once i have this i'm going to duplicate this like this and then change this color to a banana so this other one i'm going to go and find my banana this is my banana i'm just going to double click into the strawberry right click and say paste to replace Hit key on my keyboard and scale this down. 
so let's make sure that we call this strawberry strawberry drinks so i'm going to select everything here let's move it here then hold on to option and duplicate it i'm just going to go ahead and select the um the next color that we have here is blue i'm going to change this here but make sure you also select this other rectangle and go to the um stroke section and make sure that you change it to banana i'm going to do the same for this one change it to banana um bloom and then go and find my bloom image here select this one right click and then control command to paste click on key on my keyboard and scale it down so once i've done this i'm going to go back to my move tool by clicking v and then select everything here hold on to shift and then duplicate make sure i go to my bloom section here select this one go to my my library here the next color that i have here is orange so i'm going to select this and then find my orange image here then i'm going to right click to replace and then click on k to scale it down just a bit so next thing let's make sure that we change this color here from bloom to orange so let's also do the same thing duplicate it and then the next the last color is watermelon so i'm going to select this and go to watermelon um also select this other one and then say i want to change it to watermelon so let's find me us a watermelon so double click into this and replace it and then click k and then try to scale it down just a bit So let's change the title here so for this one I'm, for this font i'm using a lobster this other one i'm using a dm sans serif no i could have just used a domain um just this one but you can choose a font that it speaks to you right so once i have done all of this the next thing i'm going to select everything here and i'm going to click on this create component so once i have this component i've done the first section of it the next thing i'm going to do is to take my can here i'm going to hold on to this can and then i'm going to click on k on my keyboard and then i'm going to scale it down just a bit so once you have scaled that down a bit now we have this just go to your asset section here once you're at the asset section let's title this and say um a label let's call it label let's go to um animation tutorial and find label and post paste it here now that we've pasted this one here let's select the frame itself go back to our layer section find the label and find the image here on the right side select the both of them hold on to shift while you're selecting the both of them and then come to here and say use as max so once you've done this this is going to position itself very well then you can also make adjustment by just selecting label here from this drop down from this layers panel and then make adjustments all right so this is not the end don't worry we're going to get exactly what we want we're going to get exactly what we want now make sure you come on your layers panel select the or the one that looks like an image or the one that has this um half moon um icon here um then click on command d or ctrl d to duplicate select the one that is on that then go and click on this this icon here again and then it's going to detach it's it's going to detach and just it's going to be like an image so come to where you have passed through click on it while you're doing that make sure you're selecting label while you do that go to this and select multiply now we have ourselves a very nice um um brand of drink <laughs> all right so let's move this aside once i move this aside so the best thing or the most intelligent thing to do shouldn't have been to create all those frames first all we're going to do right now is to duplicate this one once we've duplicated that 
you can come and make adjustments accordingly so i'm going to because i created it as a style so it's going to be easy for me to come here and say i want to choose banana right so but i remember i went i have to go to um the radial style that i created and select banana so this one too is going to be easy once you select make sure you're selecting label and then just turn it around it's more like you're turning it make sure it fits all right so we've done that for banana so the next thing we can do again is to duplicate this and do the same for bloom bloom all right so now let's select it and detach the style here go back and select uh th this one now make sure you select your label itself and then you can just change it now how cool is that and you can take your time make adjustment and ensure that everything is aligned so i'm going to fast forward this section now so now that we've done that let's clear our board just remove all those items that we're not using so the next thing i'm going to show you is how to animate the test that we have so to animate the test what we're going to do is to hit here on our keyboard and let's type something let's just say um strawberry goodness so once we've typed this let's right click and put a frame around that then duplicate this into three places select all of it and then come here and select create component set select test in the second one and then draw it all the way down to when you want it to stop showing right so make sure that this test here is on clip content even the main container is on clip content then for this third one make sure you double click and select the test and then push it down a bit push it down here so let's make sure it doesn't leave our frame so this frame let's keep it that clip content too all right so once we have this let's select the first um, frame and select go to prototype now connect this to the second frame make sure you leave it at after delay after delay make sure you keep this at one millisecond this other one leave it as smart animate ease out leave it as one to ten thousand millisecond so for this second one to just do the same setting one millisecond here and 10,000 here then take this last one and connect it back to the first one set it to after delay make sure it's on one millisecond 10,000 here all right so I'm going to go to this is component 4 so let's try to find it under our here so we can bring it and put it here so go back to layers and make sure that it's positioned well go to design and center align this make sure it's in the middle now this is what we're going to get and this is how the animation works it's as simple as that so you can make it like this or you can just choose any setting any type of an animation yeah this is how it works anyway Oh, so the next thing we're going to do is to add any other image or anything we want to beautify these frames with so i'm going to add this one to this come to my layers here this is strawberry let's just keep it here all right i'm going to align this properly so this one that is banana flavor let's find something that speaks to banana this one i'm just going to bring it here so let's go to our layers panel here and try to arrange it. Yeah, I think this is fine. Um, we're forgetting something important here. We didn't add our navigation items here and menu items here. So, but let's first of all complete the screens. Let's see if we can add other things to it. So for this strawberry, not strawberry, for this um this not banana flavor this bloom bloom flavor so let's just take this and put it here so i'm going to go and change the test here and see 
bloom drink I just see bloom right so once I've made this adjustment it's also going to reflect here because that's the component set so what else can we add here let's add something like this like this mm. let's take this up a bit so I'm going to copy it and then select this frame here paste it here make sure I bring it down just a bit let me stood down let's leave it here so you can rename this text to whatever to the to the ideal test is meant to be for instance this one is strawberry can name it broom and um, bloom wonders or something and let's put this one here too bring it down put this one here and then bring it down so what else should we add to this Mm, this is our watermelon drink. So let's find image of watermelon. I just add it here This is not in the watermelon. So let's call this watermelon so we can identify it So yeah, this is not inside the watermelon frame So let's find a way to put it in the frame I'm going to drag this to the watermelon frame just keep it here then let's bring this one I just add it here right this is good so this one is the banana drink so what should we add here no this is not banana this is orange we didn't rename it so I'm going to go back to this place and say orange. So for this one that is orange, I'm going to use this image here. I'm going to just add it here. But first, let's keep it very well. So let's find something else and add to it. And just select the frame here and add this image to it. Yeah, let's add to this orange. So we have this going on here. So for this, we can also use this image here. I think I like this image here. Just put it here and bring it down here. It just somehow gives it its own feeling. All right, so let's not forget to take the free um to add our navigation items here. I've already created it, so I'm just going to add it here. So for this one, um, let's try and make sure that it is visible right so you can work on this um, to your taste to something that suits whatever you're designing the second one should fit here so I'm just going to fast forward this section here added all of this added some more images and some other things in the background added like a navigation the menu the i am logo and all of that let's go ahead and animate prototype this so i'm going to select this frame and then i'm on prototype already i'm going to connect this here but i'm going to set it to after delay then i'm going to set this to 2000 millisecond then i am going to change this to um custom spring so for this i'm going to leave it at 94 and for this i'm going to leave it at 14. 
all right so i'm going to replicate the setting across all of this leave it that after delay and set this to 2000 millisecond so this is already in 9400 there about so i'm going to do that for all of it make sure this is at 2000 millisecond after delay 2000 millisecond and then this other one i'm going to leave it but let's see what we have worked on let's play the prototype here so let's play it again or let we can preview this So the test animation at the background might be a bit distracting but you get the story you get how to do a test animation and you also get uh, you know how to do this other one so let me connect this one back so that it's going to be like an an ending loop so this is after delay let's see what we have if we leave it at 800 millisecond so this is it Let's set this to 2000 millisecond. So this setting I'm doing it just for so that the test animation at the back, background can play just a little bit before it navigates to the other screen. Right. right. So we have this going on here and yeah, sort of cool. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.